Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy has two operational aircraft carriers and envisions to build two more aircraft carriers as it has doctrine of three and INS Vikramadit will be decommissioned in coming decade. The INS Vikrant or ISC-1 has created an ecosystem and capability of building an aircraft carrier within the country. Indian Navy is looking to tap into this opportunity. It wants ISC-2 to be the repeat order of INS Vikrant with some technological improvements. However, the ISC-3 is going to be warship of completely different class. Indian Navy has already given green signal to ISC-2 and the decision is with Ministry of Defense to further progress on this case. Now, whenever the discussion of shipbuilding comes, especially warships, the first hurdle is a huge fund required to construct the warships. So let's try to understand a little bit about the economics behind the shipbuilding. The INS Vikrant is the largest ship ever built in maritime history of India and houses state-of-art automation features. As per the Economic Survey 2022-23, the newly commissioned INS Vikrant has alone engaged approximately 500 MSMEs, 12,000 employees from ancillary industries and 2,000 shipyard employees. Shipbuilding with its link to other ancillary industries including steel, engineering equipment, port infrastructure, trade and shipping services has potential to create a collaborative production ecosystem. With the development of these ancillary industries, the sector generates opportunities for small business and strengthens the supply chain network. The Indian Navy chief has also highlighted two major benefits of shipbuilding. The first one is job creation with the multiplier effect of 6.4 times, which means that if shipyard involved 2,000 employees for building a warship, more than 12,000 employees will be needed in the ancillary industries. The second aspect is the multiplier effect of the money invested, which is approximately 1.8 times. That is, for every rupee spent, 1.8 rupees is circulated in the economy. The money allocated for various shipbuilding for Indian Navy is 1.5 lakh crore, which will translate to 2.7 lakh crores. The best part is that the money is going to be circulated within our country. And this is the beauty of shipbuilding industry and self-reliance. Now talking about ISC-3, it will be a much bigger warship a class apart. INS Vikrant has a displacement of around 44,000 ton. However, ISC-3 will have a displacement of around 65,000 tons. Indian Navy has began the study of ISC-3, which will be entirely a new design. The initial plan for the aircraft carrier included nuclear propulsion system, but this was later changed to an integrated electric propulsion system due to the complexities involved in developing a nuclear reactor with a capacity of 500 to 550 megawatts. The most important feature of this aircraft is going to be a Katowar system for operating the fighter jets from its deck. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.